Hi, welcome to this video. I'm going to demonstrate how to take the amino acid sequence of a protein and convert it into a DNA sequence which can be used as a part or a bio brick in an iGEM project. We're going to do this here by using the sequence manipulation suite. Let's begin. Let's take our example protein sequences. Here you can see amino acid sequences representing different proteins displayed here in FASTA format. I'm going to select the protein sequence for one of these enzymes. And in the sequence manipulation suite, I'm going to scroll down and use the reverse translate tool. In this box, I will paste our amino acid sequence. This tool allows you to reverse translate and generate a DNA sequence which will encode the protein sequence you started with. It can do this in a way so as to codon optimize the DNA sequence. This could be different depending on the organism that you plan on expressing this gene in. Fortunately, I plan on using E. coli, a very common bacteria for a lot of molecular biology and synthetic biology projects. And the default information for codon usage listed here is that of E. coli. So I don't need to change this information. I can simply hit submit. And now I have a DNA sequence which, when translated, will give me the protein that I started with. In order to make this DNA sequence a true DNA part for an iGEM project, we have to make sure that this sequence conforms to the assembly standards used in iGEM. Most common assembly standards assembly standard is known as RFC10. In this standard, the DNA sequence you use cannot contain any of the following restriction enzyme patterns or sites within the body of the sequence. So for example, any instances of GAATTC in the sequence must be removed or changed. Let's check the DNA sequence we just obtained to see if it contains any of the restriction enzyme recognition sites for either ECO-R1, XBA1, SPE1, PST1, or NOT1. To do that, we can go back to the sequence manipulation suite. We can actually use several different tools for this step. Restriction digest, restriction summary. I prefer using restriction map. So I'm going to paste here the DNA sequence we obtained in the previous step. I'm going to select translation frame one just to make the resulting sequence and map a little easier to interpret and I'll hit submit. What we have here is the DNA sequence that we started with the amino acids representing the protein sequence that this DNA sequence encodes which is actually what we started the entire process with and restriction enzyme sites indicated at their location. So let's look through to see if we recognize any of the assembly standard restriction enzyme sites. Here's one. This DNA sequence contains a NOT1 site, which we will need to either change or remove. You can notice that the NOT1 site starts at position 634, and we can highlight it here, GC, GG, CC, GC. We need to alter the sequence so that it is no longer recognized by the NOT1 enzyme. We must do this in a way that preserves the amino acids encoded for by this sequence. So for example, this glycine is encoded by this codon here, GGC. If we change the third position to another nucleotide such as GGA, we will still encode for glycine, but we will no longer have a site recognized by NOT1. By making these sort of changes, we will make this DNA sequence compatible 
with other DNA parts in an iGEM project.